Hello Expressions, my name is Yabgela Gode and I'm your street owner for today. So what are you planning to do on Mandela Day? I would like for like people to like start a fund for like, uh, like homeless people. Giving a homeless person coffee is not going to change their life. But we can like contribute money, like donate maybe a hundred bucks, if you a hundred bucks, maybe ten. I will be to have like a hundred thousand, you know. And we get them like there's free buildings in Johannesburg everywhere. Everywhere there's free buildings, we get them one building and get them a bit of shelter. Appreciate what um, icons such as Nelson Mandela and freedom fighters have done for us in the past, like fighting apartheid, fighting uh, against hatred and uh, oppression. Okay, it's 67 minutes of Mandela Day. Um, usually, like, you find something on that day, like uh, some volunteering uh, thing going on. So basically at UJ, what we have going on is that, like, we pick up litter or we, you know, we just help out in, like, community service. I think I might go home and try to help at schools which are at home, try to clean them and whatsoever. I'm just planning to, to give back to the community in every way possible. Um, if it means having to go to a school to help the needy, let it be. If it means being in the streets, cleaning up, and then that's what I'm going to be. I'm planning to outreach, I'm going to evangelize, I'm going to tell people about Jesus, that should they find Jesus, everything will be well. And on that note, we want to say hello to Belang Sanbonani, South Africa. Welcome to Expressions. This is definitely the place for you to air your views. I'm your host, Jacqueline Mapala. I'm your host, Now, in just two days, the world will be commemorating Nelson Mandela Day. Now, every year, the 18th of July is observed as a global call to action. Now, it's about changing the world for the better, just as Utada or Nelson Mandela did every day. Now on today's show, we unpack how Nelson Mandela's legacy has influenced Olusha. Our poll question, do young South Africans value the role that was played by Udata or Nelson Mandela in attaining our freedom? Well, that's a very, very important question. But what does freedom mean to a young person who has been incarcerated? Now, as expressions, we conducted a few interviews with young people who were imprisoned at the M. Tonjeni Youth Correctional Center in Pretoria. Take a look at this. Maskula just walking around casually a tradinizemi pagati yetu. We never imagine which one day we might face a point where we might end up making the wrong decisions, which will consequently end us up in the only Fanale, which is a correctional facility. We reflect with them and we find out Uguti, do they really value freedom? Mind you, Joba Sebala. Was freedom better tasting when they were outside than they were actually here? So we're going to be hearing from them. They're going to be talking to us, telling us about some of their experiences, perhaps also get you inspired. Let's go have a chat with them. You know, it was, it was all part of a lifestyle, not knowing that I would end up here. As it began by gangs, walking with the wrong friends, but let's not start by blaming friends. As we ask ourselves, do we have choices and knowing that what is right and wrong? But well, as life as well, circumstances and situations put, situations put us into things, and then we end up in the wrong places. So I ended up working with the guys that does this job, ended up working for someone who does this job because financially I was lacking. And I was under the substance of alcohol. So I was under the substance of alcohol. Me being here, I'm arrested for house breaking with intent to stay. I doing house breaking is was it was related to drugs, peer pressure, high life, being flashed, wearing nice things, saving money all around, impressing girls, impressing my my peers. Now my drugs now, don't go back up I cared less about life. I cared less about myself and my own health. But then, I thought I was cool. I'm 70 summer drugs, and people around me, now, young influencer, they say, yeah, it's cool. Yeah, it's life. It's peer pressure. It's growing up. But then, I'm a drugs in life. Instead, I want to back the fourth struggle. To, to make a better life for all of us and the youth and the upcoming youth. 
Yeah, so Tina, all of that freedom, we take it for granted. You think that all things are simple. When they want something, they want it now. They don't know the importance of being educated or, or, what, or valuing their freedom. It's very important to start valuing freedom because if, if you are in prison, you don't really have freedom. Everything you, you do, you are being told. Everything you do, you are being watched. Very freedom. Basluela, which is like a little bit of a free song. It's a equal value song. So, my Tina, I don't understand about freedom. Which is since the young king to a siphonal. Mingla mean I'm not freedom. And what would you like to tell the community? I would like to tell them that what I did, I did it without thinking. And I do, I know, and now I, I do realize that what I did was wrong. I should respect other people's stuff. Right now, when I'm going outside, I would like them to accept that I did a mistake. Hmm, some sobering comments there from young people. But to help me unpack this issue and to just delve a little bit deeper around this concept that we're discussing tonight, I'm joined by Andy Lesiaya, who is a social worker from Nikro, as well as Henny Popotswane Makubela, who is the direct area commissioner. Lady and gentlemen, welcome to Expressions. Thank you for Thank having you. us. It's for good. It's good to us. have you here. And of course, I never do this by myself. My co-host and policy is obviously going to be manning our social media and bringing some of your comments and insights on this conversation that we're having in studio tonight. But I think let's let's get straight into it. I think I think Andile. I mean, some of the comments that young people were sort of sharing around, um, you know, why they possibly could have could have ended up uh, behind bars. And you you work with them mm. um, as 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 a social worker. Help us to understand what are these root causes behind why young people end up making poor choices that lead them to have a life, you know, behind bars? Mm. And I'm sure as you've seen from the, from what the videos, that the video that we saw just now, that there are actually different dynamics or rather factors that actually cause young people to commit offenses. You, you heard some of them saying that it was peer pressure. You heard some of them that it could have been a, as a result of poverty that eventually led this person. So it's really not one thing. That's what makes it such a dynamic and uh, sort of like, a, a, wouldn't say difficult, mm -hmm. but sort of like a complex mm -hmm. issue to try to comprehend and mm -hmm. to address. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Uh, and that thing, I mean, as much as you know, we we are celebrating Mandela Month. We, we know exactly what uh, Utada represented, what he stood for, the legacy that he he he, he sort of wanted to to ensure lives on in, in in our society. But freedom being a central thing, with, with crime being so rife, and and so many young people uh, uh, being in jail. Do you feel or do you get the sense that young people understand what they stand to lose, what, what, what they stand to give up if they end up in jail and being incarcerated? Yeah, it's only after they have been convicted of the crimes that they will have committed that uh, they now realize that uh, what they have done, it's wrong. Mm -hmm. But you know, during the process when they doing all these wrong things, uh, young people, because of the peer pressure, because of the drugs, they don't see and realize, most especially the the importance, you know, and also the freedom. Remember, they losing the freedom that uh, mm -hmm. Nelson Man Nelson Mandela mm -hmm. has fought for, you know, for so many years. But uh, when they are behind bars, it's only then that they realize that. That's why most of them, they're starting to show remorse, especially from the clip, the video clip that uh, mm. we have seen from Babian uh, management area. Mm. Mm. Uh, what kinds of, and maybe you, you can just allude on this uh, a little bit, uh, and you know, what, what, what kind of skill sets do you impart young people with just so that they can make more positive choices? And, and, and I mean, again, we, we want young people to embrace their freedom. We want young people to, 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 to really attain their highest potential. But I think from your side, from Nico, what do you do to empower them so that they can realize that? Mm. Uh, because of what NICRO does, mm. you know, we are a diversion program or are they uh, an, in, an organization that also specializes in diversion. Uh, basically, that's when a person has not been 
sentenced, so to speak, so they get diverted, so they don't get a criminal record. Mm. So when they get to us, obviously life skills, basic life skills is what we 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 we, we like push onto to to the clients so that they don't reoffend. So it's basic life skills. Basically, these actually help the person to go back to understanding that rights have responsibilities because in everything that we do it's all about the individual but then at the end of the day it's you have to remember that your right comes with the responsibility your freedom is a right and it's also it must be a value that comes with the responsibility so basic life skills you would touch on self-awareness decision making goal setting personal growth and development, peer pressure for the children between the ages of 14 to 18. It's basically trying to get the person back in touch with who they are and then what they stand to lose should they be sentenced mm -hmm. and go to prison or get a criminal record. Mm -hmm. And what is, what is your success rate? Um, in, in terms of the, the young people you are you are able to, but I think I think I think before we get to the success rate um, on 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 how you re rehabilitate some of these young people, I think we're mm. going to go to a quick break. You make sure you don't want to go anywhere because you want to hear what actually happens um, uh, to some of these young people who end up uh, being on this path where they could possibly end up in jail or something like that. Stay with us. You're watching Expressions. You are still watching Expressions, your hashtag number one youth current affairs show. Our poll question we ask, do young South Africans value the role played by Udata Nelson Mandela in attaining our freedom? I'm now joined by Otemba Lukelo, who's an author and ex-offender. Good evening and welcome to Expressions. Greetings. Thank Thanks you so much me. for joining us. Mugelunga Kotlwage, do be part of this all-important discussion in Gundlenze Tuzokumana. That's Facebook, Twitter and Instagram. Expressions is there. Utemba, yes, the big question is, do Ulusha really value the role that was played by Utatao Nelson Mandela? Um, I would say it's a, it's a yes and no, because mm. um, if they really did, um, we wouldn't be experiencing the social issues that we're experiencing uh, on this day and age and after, you know, the role that um, Abu Tata and um, uh, other leaders, uh, they've played. Uh, but um, I believe that uh, I mean, I decided to play my part mm. uh, after I went to the most hopeless of places, which was a prison. Yeah. And when I got there, I realized that I've wronged the society and the community at large. And um, it was my obligation, therefore, uh, to come back when I'm reintegrated to live and lead an honest life. And mm. then that is why I said uh, I won't be uh, selfish with the information. And I decided to pen my thoughts down that uh, the many flames that were burning in my life, I decided to reduce them into writing. I came up with an autobiography now of the things that are happening now. I would that they've, they've experienced their own, which was happening then. But now we still do have, you know, a revolution and things that are happening on a daily. Yeah. Now, Ukuluma, about, you know, having been to the most ugliest place ever, yeah. which is prison. I want to know from you, maybe at that time, you know, when, when you, when you, the offense happened. Mm -hmm. Were you really thinking about some of the sacrifices that were made by uh, Amara Stalwart, Safana Nutatu Nelson Mandela? Because I think that was some of the questions and, and conversations that we had with the young offenders that we visited last week. No, no, no. Uh, the first thing that happens is with young people, we seek validation. Mm -hmm. And you only selfish, you think about yourself. I mean, if I can have this and that and that, you're not really thinking about. Uh, the after, after effects and you know the cause of crime and what will you know happen to the next person while the crime is, is happening. Mm. And I must talk that to Nelson Mandela, of course, um, the cause of why you know some young people are in jail and and and, and that to Mandela's experience. It's two different causes that they are in jail for. Um, mm. I just want to know from you, as as a as a young man now who's trying to make strides in the community, mm -hmm. as Umpagati, are we doing enough to ensure Utimabe Buya are these young men and um, get it back into the community that they successfully integrated without being judged? Do you think Ugutinjeng Umpagati are doing enough? Uh, I don't think the community is doing enough because I always say the enemy of our faith is a specialist on condemnation. People don't always judge you. Mm. And whatever has, you know, something on you is to seek to remind you of the things of the former past. Every day, every second, minute, and every hour. Mm. What makes you think that you'll be better today? So when you are reintegrated, you get into the society, mm. and then Baba Ho style, because remember, crime may be violent or rape. 
Oguti, I mean, uh, it's like the Bible says, oh, Satan is irredeemable. Mm -hmm. Other people and other inmates or prisoners are like that. I mean, you could come in hundreds of thousands, pray for them. They will never be redeemed. They will never change. Yeah. But uh, our God is not a God of second chance. Our God is a God of many chances. So it is important, therefore, for a community because it DCS, it is not only in serving the correctional services, right. but it is a societal responsibility. Absolutely. And you're speaking about the different crimes. I, I've read your biography. I know why you were in it. Tell us, Uguti, why did you spend time in jail? Um, it was a domestic matter that was converted into a criminal matter because of the charges. That was between me, myself, and um, the partner at that time. So, of course, I was not thinking straight. And, you know, I would say if I think about the things that I've done, they make me leave my head hanging in shame. I can no longer change the past. I can only change and influence the future. That is why I said, let me revolutionize the whole thing and change all the things, all the negative things, you know, into a positive energy. All right. Now, the big question, do young South Africans value the role that was played with Dr. Nelson Mandela, uh, of course, in yesteryear? And let's find out what you had to say on our WhatsApp note. Please roll it. I think young South Africans, you know, value the role that Dada Madiba played. Um, I mean, he sacrificed 27 years of his life in, you know, prison. So definitely we appreciate the sacrifice that he's made, hence why we, you know, till this day still celebrate him, you know, so definitely. Now, back to back on more opinions, we head to Facebook. So, Ati, we do. Uh, that is why some of us partake in community activities which aim to alleviate poverty and promote equality amongst the youth in South Africa. Now, of course, she's speaking about Global Nelson Mandela Day, which is coming up in a few days. Now, Kimoyelwa says Dada is valued, but he is commemorated more than other heroes and heroines. It is not fair that only his name only comes out in everything, uh, but his support system is not acknowledged. Edward says, yes, because their focus is in education with Dr. Mandela. His role was to encourage the youth to invest in education. Last but not least, Ufiso Gosha says, yes, we do value the role he played, especially on the education phase. Hashtag thanks to Dada, hashtag expressions underscore 10. Now, those are your views on our social media pages. Remember to keep the conversation going and remember to tell a friend to tell a friend. The hottest current affairs show is now on. Back after this. Welcome back. You're watching Expressions here on SABC One. Tonight we are speaking about at least the importance of uh, Mandela Day that is going to be coming up in uh, the next couple of days. And the focus that we're having tonight is at least specifically around our poll question is that we're asking whether do young people uh, in South Africa value the role that was played by Utata Mandela in attaining our freedom? Now, obviously, we, we have to wrap up this conversation, but I think just before uh, the break, I'd said that we would touch on a little bit on your success story. So um, talk to us about young people who are able to find redemption, who are able to uh, find their way back to, to a life where they can embrace their rights and embrace their freedom. I mean, a success can be the smallest thing from you getting a parent coming to you and saying, we appreciate the work that you've done with our child, or a parent calling you and saying he's doing well in school, he's doing well at home, he's helping out with the chores. Mm -hmm. So that for us is a success mm -hmm. because the cognitive and behavioral change that we always aspire for with our clients has been achieved. And also we've had a, a few clients come back to us a few years later, uh, one passed metric with eight distinctions and he was doing, he's now doing actual sciences. So those are all the successes that I think that I can account for in my work, mm. having worked at Nico for the time that I have, mm. that success doesn't have to be a big thing. It has mm. to be a parent, even a, a youth coming back to you and saying, thank you, Andile. Uh, I mean, I've, 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 I've changed. I've left the friends that were bad, mm. sort of, and they've achieved whatever it is that they were also looking for. Mm. So it's a job well done for you that day. Yeah, and then and that's that's incredibly amazing, I think, to hear some of those success stories. And then for you, 
that they're in I mean there are lots of young people who are watching and I think because like we're saying that we don't want young people to only appreciate the freedom that they have only when it's taken away yes. what words of inspiration do you want uh, to to sort of share with them I think especially tying in the fact that we also want to celebrate the legacy of Utata Nelson Mandela I think the youth they need to understand that uh, the the future of this country mm. so they need really to make sure that uh, they educate themselves to make sure that uh, they can you know take over from us because you yes mm. in 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 leading this uh, 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 country mm. because they need also to understand that uh, criminality or crime does not pay mm. drugs the use of drugs also does not pay because uh, they end up in prison so we don't want to see these young uh, kids, mm. especially in our correctional facilities. Mm -hmm. We want to see them in schools, we want to see them in uni university, we, need to, we want to see them in technical uh, colleges where they will be getting, you know, they will be skills developing themselves to ensure that they become better citizens of this country. Mm -hmm. So we don't want to see them in prison. Mm. Yeah, excellent, excellent. And I think maybe just a quick one. Is there anything special you guys are going to be doing for Mandela Day that um, that is worth <laughs> mentioning? Yes. Yeah, maybe if I, I may start um, in the eight management areas that we have in, 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 the, in, 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 in mm -hmm. the region, more especially Houghton, mm -hmm. uh, there will be a lot of projects that we have already engaged. But... Uh, the launch of uh, the Nelson Mandela uh, mm -hmm. training mm -hmm. session, especially with the Mandela rules, mm -hmm. that will be happening on the 22nd okay. in Hoshimampuru okay. the second. No. That's excellent. Yes. No, that's so that excellent. We wish yes. you the very best, and thank you so very yes. much for coming to the show. And go. I mean, it was definitely uh, an important lesson for us. I Great think, conversations today. Yeah. Great that we conversation. had, with Jackie. And Mundumusha, we did ask you, of course, Mlanjik Sekla, do young South Africans value the role that was played by Dr. Nelson Mandela mm. in attaining freedom? Mm. Can we just have a look at the poll results quickly? About 60% of you said yes, wow. and just about 40% said no. Mm. Oh, okay, cool. Well, that's 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 telling. That's definitely telling. But of course, we always want to find out what it is that you want us to discuss. So let's roll our video diary. Hi, Expressions. This is Nadia Conradi. For next week's topic, can you please talk about the fourth industrial revolution? Are young people ready to embrace it? Looking forward, mm, looking forward to forward that to one that indeed. One and of too. course, the expressions we'd like to send out our deepest and heartfelt condolences to the families of the heroes and heroines that we've lost throughout the course of this week. Yeah. Mm. So expressions, of course, we thank you so much now, Mbogelo, for joining us this evening. Now, Cutting Edge is up next. Mighty plays us out. Adios, Mr. Chuck. Stay at home and study. Never went to parties. Rich men trying to heed on her. To her, it was never about the money. She had a young sister who died now she the only daughter just finished matric and her only dream was to be a doctor her mama sick the family ain't doing shit for him just got a divorce and rumors out the husband cheats on her she couldn't handle the pressure nobody's always stressing doctor somebody her mom got cancer she was so depressing she made money from selling fruits at the park station but she still couldn't afford the medication he untold story <laughs> Late, Mbali received an urgent phone call By the tone of the doctor, Mbali could tell something went wrong It was the worst news of her life when she was told that her mama died Couldn't believe her ears, she broke down, she was traumatized Her uncle came to the house as soon as he had the news He was doing time in prison, when he came out she was so confused 2017.